Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Wait, wait. Bruce, my name Ariel, right? Let me ask you something. Uh, what's tomorrow? What, what is everybody gonna be partaking in tomorrow? Easter, right? So if Sunday is Easter, what was yesterday? Yesterday. What was uh, what was people doing Friday? But you heard of a day called Good Friday, right? They said that Christ died on Good Friday, right? And he was uh, resurrected on Easter. So. How many days did Christ, uh, how many days did he die before he rose from the dead? Five? No, he said three days. But they celebrate Good Friday because he died on Good Friday and he rose on Easter. So from Friday to Sunday, how many days is that? From Friday to Sunday? Wait a minute, I thought he died on three days. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Eddie. How you doing, bro? Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, my brother, how you doing? Chicago Bulls, my man, what's your question? What's your, come here for a second. My name, Aria. I said, what's your question? I'm sure I'm about to ask you some few questions, right? What's your name, by the way? Bruce, my name Ariel, right? Let me ask you something. Uh, what's tomorrow? What, what is everybody going to be partaking in tomorrow? Easter, right? So if Sunday is Easter, what was yesterday? Yesterday. What was, uh, what was people doing Friday? But you heard of a day called Good Friday, right? They said that Christ died on Good Friday, right? And he was uh, resurrected on Easter. So... How many days did Christ, uh, how many days did he die before he rose from the dead? Five? No, he said three days. But they celebrate Good Friday because he died on Good Friday and he rose on Easter. So from Friday to Sunday, how many days is that? From Friday to Sunday? Wait a minute, I thought he died on three days. I thought he was supposed to wait. I got you there, right? I got you. Hold on, stick around, stick around. So, you gotta go get your baby? I right, well, give you something to think about, right? So people should be celebrating Easter, right? Let's get Colossians 2 and verse 8. Let's read that. Because our people gonna be in church wearing their Easter best on Sunday, right? But that's not the day of God, right? Nowhere in the Bible where it said God says to celebrate Easter. I know I'm hitting it right away, right? We going right in for the judgment right away because tomorrow is where the day our people are going to be filled in these churches. Matter of fact, you shouldn't be going to church on Sunday in the first place. Read that. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Read. After the traditions of men, after the traditions of the world, and not after Christ. Now read that from the top again. Read it from the top. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So by the way, we are reading the Holy Bible. You so-called blacks and Hispanics, Native Americans, we are the Israelites, according to this Bible. So his folks be reading the same book that the Lord spoke to the, whole, the nation of Israel, right? That's our true nationality. We're not black. We're not Puerto Ricans. We're not Mexicans. We're none of these things. We are the Israelites, the so-called blacks and Hispanics. Read on. After the tradition of men. Hey, my brother, how you doing? Can I ask you one question? You got a minute, one minute, one minute. One minute. What's your nationality? African-American. So do you know the, the term of African-American, where it came from? It came from Jesse Jackson in the 80s. Because before that, we was called Negro. So how did we become African-Americans over less than 30 years ago? Hey, my brother, check it out, though. Let me ask you, can I ask you how old are you? So you're about just as old as your nationality because the term African-American came out in around the 80s, the mid-80s. So you probably was born, by the time you was born, that's when 
you was probably like five years old when you was labeled an African American. But before that, who were you? Why is it that our nationality changes, right? Because in the 60s, we was called Negro. So now we call African American. Do you know the term where, uh, do you know any any historical figures? Let me ask you something. How you doing, my sister? I'm asking her too. What's your nationality? What's your name? African American. Okay, African American, right? But you know that term African American came in the late eight, or, uh, mid 80s by Jesse Jackson. He the one that came up with that term African American. But before that, we was called Negro. Oh, this is important. Don't walk away because we need to know who we are. Read John 832. Hurry up. Read that. Let me show you something. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. You believe in Jesus, don't you? Read. This is what Jesus Christ said. Read. And you shall know the truth. You should know the what? The truth. So Christ said you should know the truth, right? Read. And the truth shall set you free. So what's going to set us free? Read again. And you shall know the truth. So you're going to know the truth, right? You shall know the truth. And once you know the truth, what's going to happen? Read. And the truth shall make you free. So what shall make us free? The truth shall make you free. So what's going to set us free? The truth, right? The truth with all the lies that we've been taught. The, 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 that's what's going to set us free, the truth, because we've been lied to as a people, right? Because we're not African American. That term was put on us in the mid-80s by Jesse Jackson. He came up with the terminology African American. Because before that, we was called Negro, right? And who were we called before that? Right, but Negro is just a color. It means black. So our nationality, we can't associate our nationality with a color, right? Hey, my brother, we're talking about nationalities, right? What's your nationality? Black. Black, that's a color, though. I know it, but it's a nationality. No, it's not a nationality because you can't go to a country black. I'm not going to no country There is. Matter of fact, the country black do not exist. How about that, my brother? You hear that? You see what I'm saying? How can you be black when I ask you your nationality? The root word of nationality is nation. So your nationality is associated with the nation you come from. So you cannot go to a land of black. You cannot find a land of black on the globe. You cannot. So that's not your nationality. Because when you look through history, my sister, the term Africa was named after a white man, Roman general named Leo Scipios Africanus. Did you know that? And guess what? The term America was named after another white man, an Italian navigator named Amerigo Vespucci. So we're calling ourselves after these names that derive from white men. But yeah, we're supposed to be black people, right? We're that's supposed to be it. We're supposed to be African Americans, but our whole nationality is named after white men. How does that make sense? Hell, when you two men cannot produce a race at all. You hear that, sister? So Christ said, read that again. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth is going to set us free from the lies we've been taught. So now I just gave you a, a quick synopsis about our, about our nationality. We're not African American because America was named after an Italian gen uh, navigator. Uh, Amer Amer Africa was named after a, a Roman general. Right? Two white men. We cannot base the whole race off of two white men and produce black people. That don't even make no sense. And then used, before that, we was called Negroes, right? And when you examine Negro, Negro means black in Spanish. Negro. Black is the color of your jacket. So how can you, are you the color of your jacket? No, you're brown. You're different shades, different derivatives of brown, right? So now we have to get to the other root of why, how do we become African Americans, right? Come close, I'll, we have signs as well. Because this sign right here, the transatlantic slave trade. Have you heard of the transatlantic slave trade in layman's term slavery? Have you heard of us be put in slavery? Now let me ask you my sister, what's your name? My name, Ariel. My, name my sister, what, what's your name? Me. Me? Mickey. Mickey. So, have you ever wondered how did we get put in slavery in the first place? You never wondered that? But let me tell you something, I used to wonder that all the time. How can one race of people conquer another race of people and put them on slave ships and bring them to a whole nother continent? How is that possible? It made me think, like, did we ever fight back? <clears throat> we tried to, but obviously we see who won, who, we lost, who lost the battle. But again, we are the Israelites because you say you were African American, right? Because we have this this sign right here. We are the Israelites. 
we are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Abraham was our forefather, and he passed that down to his son Isaac, and Isaac had sons. Right, you know the Bible, right? So if you know the Bible, look right here, check this out. You say you're African American. So if you identify as an African American, you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. So you know the Bible. Do you know who else is from the tribe of Judah by chance in the Bible? Can I show you who else is from the tribe of Judah? Let me show you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, read that, Hebrews 7, 14. Jesus Christ was also from the tribe of Judah. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Read that. For it is evident. For it is evident, meaning if you have evidence, you also have proof. It's proven. It is evident, read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. That our Lord sprang out of what? Judah. So Christ come from the tribe of Judah, right? So now we go, we're talking about nationality, right? We're talking about different tribes right here. And I showed you that Jesus Christ come from the tribe of Judah, right? Let me ask you this. How does Jesus Christ look? How is he described? You can't? Okay, the people say he white, so he's described as white because when I go to churches, when I look at magazines like Time Life, when I look into the, the watchtowers and various, like even Bibles that got illustrations in it, Jesus Christ is a white man, right? But you also see him as a black man. You also see him as a black man? Yeah, I mean, that just makes false stuff. Okay, well, that's based on people having their own personal relationship, but we got yeah, the evidence, right. for one, that Jesus Christ is a black man. But through mainstream media worldwide, Jesus Christ is depicted as a white man. So let's, let's get the, let's, let's stomp down with the lies because Christ said that you should know the truth and the truth should make you free, right? Matter of fact, we got the signs right here. So I want you to point to me which sign that the world identifies with as Jesus Christ, right here. We have two signs. On oh, this side right here. So my sister, we talking about the Jesus Christ, right? So I'm gonna ask you as well. Show me the signs that the world identifies with as Jesus Christ based on the pictures. Yeah. Damn, right? What about what you say? Right, this is this is who the world identifies with as Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what say, say again. Based based on you. Uh -huh. Right, right. Well, over, well, overall, the, the main the question was, who does the world identify yeah, with? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Not even him. Right. This guy right here. Well, let me show you. Did you know that this is a big... This all the same... It's, it's, it's different illustrations, but it's the same man. Right? But over in history, this man, this image is based off an uh, image of a man named Cesare Borgera. He was uh, son of Pope Alexander VI. So this image that we see is based off this man right here. Did y'all know that? So this image that we know is that Jesus Christ is based off a real man named Cesare Borgera. And his father, Pope Alexander VI, contracted Leonardo Vespucci to paint this his son be the next image of Jesus Christ to be pushed worldwide. But before that, everyone knew that Jesus Christ was a black man. That's why you go to um, places in Russia, uh, the color clones, you have black images. I wonder if you got the books, but all throughout the temples, the churches, in the medieval times, everyone was painted black. But what happened right here? You have something called color classic, where they paint the images white. Just look, look real close. Come here. You see this man? Uh -huh. And you see right here is a black dark yeah. image. Yeah. But what they do, they paint it white. Uh -huh. That's called coloplasm. When you change the images. Right? What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.
Let's go!